Okay, just a quick test using Slayer's exciter circuit. And uh, I've rejigged it a bit tonight. I've moved the L2 coil from the L1. It usually sits on here to set the feedback up for the transistor. Uh, and I'm exploring different ways of doing that. And I've just moved it onto a toroid coil. And uh, it's now the green wire there. And basically that goes from the positive rail to the collector of the transistor. Now the yellow wire on the toroid is a continuation of the L1 coil. So that goes from the base of the transistor uh, to the start of the uh, L1. And then the end of the L1 is just here attached to a crock lead. Anyway, this is lighting this fluorescent tube up quite nicely. I'm using 12 volts for this, uh, and the circuit is drawing 65 milliamps. Now, I tried it with the uh, 1.5 volt emergency phone charger, but uh, I could only get the circuit to draw about 105 milliamps, and it just wasn't quite enough to fire the uh, tube off. It needs about 140, I found. But uh, it works fine on 12. But is what I'm thinking is, uh, I'm wondering if we can ramp the voltage up a bit more by uh, increasing the turns on this toroid. Uh, but nevertheless, it's another way of uh, setting the feedback up. Uh, and I might look into this a bit further. Anyway, just a quick bid. Uh, thanks for watching.